We're here to rebuild Southwest Florida back better than it's ever been done before. Tune in for more. Super excited to be back again with our folks from North Star Homes. I have Nick Patterson and Michael Belcher, and they are here today. You heard about them. I hope you watched that episode because it was really good. Now they're here to tell you about the pretty side of what, what they can do. So Nick, walk me through what these homes look like. So. One of the things that people initially think about our home, since we're building out of a different material, that means that the home is gonna end up looking different. However, that's kind of more of a, a situation that is not necessarily the truth because once we finish the home on the inside, we're still using your drywall, we're still using your traditional flooring, your cabinets, things of all that nature. So the inside is gonna just look like a natural home. However, the outside, once you put any type of sheathing or cladding on it, you can also conform to like local styles. So um, one of the things that people have shown interest in is using things like hardy board or uh, using wood cladding for the outside to really have that nice feel to it and make yeah. it feel less like um, a super home. So I guess you could call it right? Right. a super home. <laughs> like <It's> a, <laughs> so, but yeah, you know, you add those other finishes outside, but you also can use the finish on the exterior that you guys typically use. Right. Yeah. So what we use is uh, we recommend it's called a stucco flex. Okay. And traditionally in construction, you would use stucco and application with a trowel and a grading system, and you're able to get whatever yeah. finish you want. Um, but we've been working with the company Stucco Flex directly, and what they offer is a spray-on stucco that adheres directly to the outside part of our homes. And the benefits there is that the Stucco Flex doesn't fade, crack, or chip over time. It has elastics built into it, so it can stand the test of time. And the best, the best benefit is that it comes selective with whatever, whatever color you want the home to be. So if you want a blue house, we'll spray on blue Stucco Flex. You don't have to ever repaint your home. So just that initial cost and that opportunity is great, especially in this uh, area where we get a lot of sunlight. Right, and we're really corrosive to paint on the outside. Um, but if I want to change the color, do I put another le level of stucco flex on it? So you could just respray on the new color right directly okay. on top of it. It's just going to make the stucco flex a little bit stronger than the initial application. However, nice. um, you can change the colors over time. You could paint right on top of it, but we okay. we suggest selecting the color from factory. Yeah, that makes sense because otherwise, it you know it. Yeah, you go through all the other things, right. especially if it's a dark color. Dark colors in Southwest Florida don't do well, do they? They, no, they fade really well. So talk about some of these beautiful exteriors because you've got a couple of models that you have. But again, your architect, I can work with whoever I want to come up with a design, the, right. the elevation on the outside. But what, what do a couple of those look like? I know we're going to show them on the screen so you can see. And of course, their website is below. So make sure you can log on and take a look at it. But Nick, what do those look like? So we have a variety of different styles, like uh, Mary had mentioned. Um, first of our couple models were more modern style, but we also have more coastal style homes as well. Um, a very popular one is called the Spurling, which is in the Naples Heights area. We're getting ready to break ground on that one. And then we also have one called the Seascape that we're doing some planning on for Fort Myers Beach. And then there's some similar coastal, more luxury style homes that we're doing in Bonita Shores and Imperial Shores off of Hickory Boulevard. So really any type of coastal area, we're able to conform to those styles. But you have the peace of mind of knowing that this is a home that's going to be able to last the next hundred years worth of storms. Yeah. yeah one of the things, awesome. um, one of our projects that we're doing now is called the Lotus. It's a kind of a very modern boxy style. Three okay. story. It's the tallest building in Naples Park. So if you're driving through Naples Park on 111th, you look to your left, you'll see this big North Star modern home. And, um, you know, that's one of our favorite builds that we've done. We've got a lot of excitement. A lot of people are interested in this new style home uh, that you don't traditionally see in Naples. I love that. So Naples Park, you got to go drive down 111th and look on the left and you'll see these these homes. Of course, their sign is going to be there, but um, they can't. you probably can't walk the construction site. So don't do that. That would be illegal. If you want to take a look at them, just give uh, me or Nick a call. We're more happy to do a tour. Again. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. So, I, you know, we're going to tell you more in the next episode. So you're going to have to keep watching these guys because they want we want to tell you how cool this is. This is revolutionary. This is kind of like AI for construction. I don't know. I, it feels like that. Like you put it in, you right. you put it into a computer, out comes mold, and you go someplace else and build it. I That's the only thing I can think of. But until next time, I'm Mary Bartis with the Bartos Group at Premier Plus and my dear friends here, uh, Nick Patterson and Mike Belcher. Michael, thank you both for coming. Thank you so thank you, much. We're so happy to be here.